All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, I was gonna make this video. Actually, I wasn't gonna make this video, um, but you know, I decided, well, since I did the five reasons to get a BMW, or sorry, five reasons to get an N54, why not do a, well, however many reasons this is gonna, gonna come out to. It's probably gonna be like eight reasons that you shouldn't get an N54, I guess. <laughs> but. With that being said, I actually, I, I still get an N54, but there's just little things that like are quirks or cons that N54s end up uh, being bad, basically. And then I guess I was just gonna go through things that my car, in person, like personally my car, there's things that are like, ah, oh, damn, you know, I gotta fix that, I gotta fix that. So uh, yeah, we'll just go through a list of stuff that I have um, in mind to explain to you guys. My car's an E90, for a lot of people, that's like, I guess a con. But um, for me, I liked it. I like it. But again, for a lot of people, that's a con. Another thing is that it's an automatic um, transmission. Again, a lot of people think that's a con. But for me, I actually like my automatics and I like my paddle shifters. That's something that's personalized to me. I have my, again, uh, if you guys watched a lot of the video, I was explaining to you guys that I have the M3 uh, steering wheel with the billet paddle shifter. So basically the OEM M3 E90 or E92, doesn't matter, um, steering wheel. Um, I actually, this car came with a base like steering wheel. It's like, it's the ugliest steering wheel I've ever seen on a, on a car. It's like the only thing that dates the car. Like putting a new steering wheel on basically changes a car that looks like it's 15 year old to like an eight year old car. Like, you know, the car still looks old and stuff like that. But I, you know, I, I, I would argue that this car is pretty timeless for being what it is. Um, another con, another con that I personally have for my car is the fact that the interior is brown like or beige or whatever it is i actually would like i think there is actually a brown one, like a baseball bat brown one i actually want that one it's either that one the black one or the red one and i'm probably gonna do that um down the road after i finish my engine stuff um because all the exterior stuff and like all the cosmetics and interior interior and exterior i'm gonna wait to do that after i finish everything but yeah the one thing is that it's beige like it's probably the worst like spec you know i actually really like my paint color like the actual paint itself it's kind of unique and you don't see a lot of them it looks kind of silver but it's not, you know it's not silver because the silver has like a weird like like a like it's like a lighter silver color and this one kind of has like a beige brown hue especially in the sun um so i actually really like that but the, the interior is pretty eh, in, in my opinion but it is what it is um, I do like that I have the Logic 7 sound system, as I mentioned in the last video, which is awesome. I, I didn't even know that it had that. I, I, just, I forgot to check. Um, I like that I have the iDrive. I like that, um, I like that, um, what do you call it? Um, I actually like that the, the car came on 17s. I know a lot of people like 18s, but we're actually going to probably end up just throwing on some sticky tires on these 17s, and they can be a little, like, fatter. And it'll help like you know with traction a little bit better so i'm actually happy that this car came with 17s the, the next con that i would actually probably like to address would be the fact that i actually don't have an oil cooler um so i have a 2007 model it's like the first year i think Another thing that I kind of don't like about the car, and I, this is kind of like uh, an opinion because of, you know, personal preference. Like I have the power seats, which is cool and all. Um, so, you know, I can adjust it like up and down and all the bolsters and stuff. But I have to say, when I had my GTI that were just manual seats, um, it actually, the seating position felt a lot better. Like I felt like I was in a more comfortable, like almost like a, like, I, I like sitting kind of lower and then lean back a little bit more where it kind of like not like an F1, like not all the way lean back, but like kind of like that, like halfway there. Um, and I feel like this car, ha in the position it's in, like the, the seat position, it's kind of weird and like it's not your back or your like your your how you sit or anything like that. It's actually like your, your knee. Like your knee starts cramping, um, or at least it did. It, start, it did cramp for a while at first, but maybe that's because I'm coming from one car to another car, like a different brand entirely, and I just had to get used to it. But I just remember it like really hurting my knee and then having to figure out where it is and all this stuff. Um, but at least a pro that comes out of the having the power seats, in my opinion, is like you can, you know, adjust however you want and then just press a button and it has a memory like uh, set. So it's kind of nice for that part. At least. I think the 135 type it worse. But because I think the 135 has like a cup holder like next to your thigh and you have to get like an attachment for that I, I think and it's just one. It's pretty bad. But E90, E90 and E92, they have the um, the push ones right from the dash The thing with that is like stuff like this like this is a McDonald's large. It lives in California. It's a McDonald's large um, 
it won't fit in there. Like it straight up won't fit in there. Yeah, the only thing it fit in there is like a like a regular water bottle. Like those, I think it's like a 16 ounce or whatever, or 12 ounce. I don't know which one of those are. Um, and like the medium size one, the uh, medium size McDonald cups and small ones, those fit. But like they don't fit. Like you know, like the big ones. These big ones don't fit. And like I get it. You know, they're trying to like create more space from the uh, center console. And I like that. I like that the fact that it's like a nice smooth center console. But I wish they did something else with the um the like the side or called the door panels because you know in other cars they'll have like door panels that have like a little section where you can put your drink in um and they have it on both sides and even sometimes the back seats have like them too in the door the door cards um so i wish they did that so that you could put like a big water ball like if you had like a big hydro flash you could put it in there but you can't like in the e90s it just it, you have to just lay on your uh your seat and it's some it sometimes doesn't really like it doesn't stay you know what i mean so yeah that's a con i have with the car or with that part of the car i guess this video kind of turned out to be like a pros and cons of my personal car um, But yeah, I think I'm gonna make another video that's kind of be like what to look for if you're getting yourself into a BMW um, So yeah, check that out. I think I'll probably drop that next. I'll probably just do this actually right now Like, like yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably drop that video after this video But yeah, if you guys have any questions about N54s, I always tell you guys this in the, in, in the, at the end of the videos And like some people watch my videos, you know, but not a lot <laughs> for, for, You know, but um yeah, if you guys ever have any questions, just go ahead and either DM me on Instagram or comment in the uh, comment section, and I'll just you know just tell you guys what I know about the car. And um, or if I don't know, ask Clarence and see what he knows. If, if we don't know, then I guess you know we can always try to search it up for you and all that stuff. But yeah, thanks you guys for tuning in again, and uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day, you guys. Peace.